Hello, hi, I'm Patricia. How are you today? Well, this new moon was kind of a doozy for a lot of us. I'm not going to talk about the new moon. I'm going to talk about the energy we're in right now. There is a Neptune retrograde. Now, what you may not understand about this retrograde is this is resolving a lot. This is also an exit point. Exit points means death. It also means transformation, and it also means alleviation of the past. But that's going to play out differently for different people. In many ways, this may seem like it follows a little bit like what we call Mercury retrograde, where communication is weird, energy drops. Now, what you can expect is that this is providing an upgrade in some of your own gifts your clairvoyance, your ability to have flashes of insight on things. But it's also doing things in a much larger scale. This is doing a lot of sifting and sorting for people who truly want to ascend and who truly want a better life, a better partner, a better way of living, a better way without all the drama and the chaos. Why is there drama and chaos? I'm going to give you one word to give you the reason why. Mentalities. Okay? It doesn't matter if it's mob mentality, pack mentality, group mentality, racist mentality, sexist mentalities, nationalist mentalities. Mentalities lead to negligence. And that is what we're up against in this retrograde. So hence the exit points. Some of these exit points have been expected, like someone getting very ill, and it happens right around the solstice. You're going to have people that just die. They might be expected to linger on a bit, and they've been ill for a very long time. You're going to see that those time frames get shorter because from a higher level, those people are not intended to be a burden on people. And for people to get on with their life. Now, getting on with our lives is very subjective. Because for some people, it is triply hard to get on and move on and let go. And again, if you're writing comments in the section, I don't really have time to respond to those. I respond in some of the other formats. But... I'll just um, say it doesn't go unseen, so what if it's political mentalities from years ago and you're still trapped in it? Well, guess what? Your soul still doesn't want you to be stuck in that, and there are ways to let go through the body. Now, on a larger scale, that's what this energy is doing. It is pushing back so that you really take an assessment of what it is that you value in your life. Do you value friendships? Do you value having people that are kind and tender to you? Do you value strife and chaos and struggle all the time? I know that there's people that they want to live in the worst neighborhood in the city because there's action there. There's action all the time. There are people like that. I've known people like that all my life. And you know what? That leads to a life of chaos. And it doesn't lead to a healthy life. And nor is it healthy for everyone else because... Some of those people are taking hostages and they're taking people down with them. I don't recommend it. But what you will find as the result of this fabulous Neptune retrograde is a desire for positive things building up inside you. Now, you may still hesitate. You may feel, you know, some trepidation, some hesitation. You may not feel mortal fear. Okay, mortal fear is very different than feeling like a little hesitance about something. Can you trust it? Can I really see what's going to happen here? A lot of times you can't. But I teach people how to not go on blind faith. How to see things through your higher vision that it benefits you. That it's a direction and go. That it brings about trust in your soul and not just blindly following the process and saying, trust the process. That's kind of not really doing a service here. Trusting what you can do for yourself at the human level 
and trusting that your higher self is meeting you somewhere along the line. That is the process. It's not the other way around. It's not like random energies. Otherwise, what you get is a tsunami of energies that tumbles you about and you start feeling like a victim of the universe. That is not who you really are. That is not who you're intended to be. That is not being the love and being the lover who is cared for and nurtured with tenderness and kindness, even by other people and not just by your true love. Now, for those people who are with a soulmate, you're going to see some glaringly obvious things. You're going to see the things that really annoy the crap out of you. So I'm going to give you some hints here and some tips, okay? Now, personally, I had about six deaths in a row. Bam, 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 bam. Fires, fire in the neighborhood. Neighbor died. One of my good friends, the house behind her burnt to the ground, burnt like a crisp. And that is not even because of wildfires or some of the things happening. I do believe it was negligence, but it's not up to me to prove it. What I will say is that these things are the result of people not caring or being negligent or not observant and hence something's being cut off. Some part of that life is being altered forever. Some part is maybe not transforming in the best way. Okay, for other people, some of those deaths were the cause of negligence. One was a good friend of the family, their son, hit on the back of his tire by someone in a pickup truck who didn't even know he hit someone, shoved off, hurled, thrown, and dead. 20 years old, in the prime of his life. Great kid. Great young man. Other people ill thinking that they were coming home and they passed on to their next incarnation. Now, I'm not just here to talk to you because I want to talk about death. What I really want to talk about is how do we deal with the things that must die? How do we deal with ourselves when we're in a state of grief or if we have an accumulation of grief already? How do you deal with those motions that have been frozen in time and get packed on and packed on and packed on until they're like a hard little rock. Okay, not everything that pressures you turns into a diamond. You could have a lump of coal about this. But how do you then get it? Part of it is in these overall energies that we call retrograde, starting to shove it in the right direction. The next piece is ascending. And ascension involves lifting not just your vibration, but your light body from the inside out. That is what it actually involves. As a twin flame, and I'm going to go on a limb here and say everyone on the planet has the potential to meet and be with their twin flame. Because it starts with the etheric twin flame first. You have to be able to make these connections so that you maintain it and you stay up. And you keep going up. So the things that you may think you're seeking, like soul family, that feeling will give way in terms of feeling, hey, I want to be with friends. Hey, I miss my friends. Hey, I'm having nostalgia for some of the things I used to enjoy. I remember this good experience and that one. Where did the good times go? You are in another buildup for the Lionsgate energy, which is going to occur in the late part of July into August. I'm holding a special class to help you with this. And also, you can find me to help you with your ascension. My specialty is focusing on Twin Flame Ascension. Now, I'm always in favor of making the most of the energies. Don't feel beat up by them and don't feel victimized by them. Even if other people are going through stuff, this one has a very special feel to it. And the feel is much less of the collective and much more personalized. What things are happening in your personal life? What things are happening that you would like to change and shift? 
what things that are too heavy that you need to help letting go of, that you need to not just purge up, but truly like let, let go. I get criticized for saying let go, and yet I teach about the light body, which does not carry those things, nor does it let you accumulate it. So like, let's lift up our minds too and think that maybe God gave you more ways than 12 to be able to do this and that it's really not with your mind, but it's with the new light body that was intended to hold buckets and buckets of love and not garbage and garbage and garbage from the past. So get rid of your mind trash, get your mind out of the old mentalities and ways of thinking that it's never going to change because how it has to change is on an individual basis for you. When you are the best you, when your life gets better, when the universe reaches out to you, when your higher self opens those doors, that is true transformation. That means you're not stuck in the inertia of your life. You're not stuck in those patterns that grandma and grandpa were stuck in. You're not stuck with the same old biological ancestral things that they were stuck with, okay? I come from those backgrounds. I know what I'm talking about. Now, in addition to this, let's put it this way. The week that the person lost their son, they lost their son and they lost what seemed like a pretty good boy. I mean, I knew of him. I knew him briefly um, because I wasn't really best friends. My brother was, but he did a lot in his community. That's what he was known for, okay? A lot of people felt the loss. Now, here's how you have to turn it around. When your own kid annoys you, you can't be focusing on those people. I had to sit there and say to myself, my son is with me. I'm glad. I can yell at him, of course, because he's here. I don't want to. Those people will never get to talk to their child again, except through a special meditation, except through their dreams, except through the levels that we are given and gifted with to be able to communicate. That is a part of this Neptune energy, which is to help you with your clairvoyance. That means clear seeing. That means getting clear understanding of things. That means the picture that speaks a thousand words, even more so than, you know, someone telling you this is the part of the light the light body that i help you develop the twin flame body where you communicate with each other and the rest of the collective is excluded okay it doesn't mean you don't care about them it means you actually have privacy intimacy only with each other and it's a two-way street seeking friends do you not think your soul knows that you know, how you like to be, how you like to enjoy your leisure time, your free time, what you would like to do, what your dreams are. If you're not putting that forth, you're missing the program here. You're staying in an old program, actually, and you're missing the boat. You're missing this energy. So if you would like to gear up using your twin flame body, your new connections, get a twin flame ring connection. I do one-on-one -on -one sessions. I do coaching. And we have a team and we also have classes coming up. So please check, check my new website and it's going to be my anniversary of starting this very, very soon. We're in the month of July and July is revolutionary energy, but that also means evolution, re-evolving, <laughs> okay? That is what a revolution is. That is what the United States had. We had to evolve. We're still growing. We get greatly criticized, but a lot of countries can be greatly criticized these days. COVID brought out a lot of the negatives, but we have the ability to turn this stuff into positives using our new connections like we always have. This is brand new. It is really brand new. But we always have that initial angelic human impulse to, ooh, get better, do, love something, find it. Desire is your best friend. 
Romantic desire is even better and passionate desire is the best ever. So thanks so much for watching and check the description below. Have a good day. Bye.